Thank you so much, Griff, and good evening, everyone. All right, all right, let, let's try that again. Let me check the energy level in the room. Good evening, everyone. Excellent, excellent. Uh, I'm absolutely delighted to be here this evening and deeply humbled to be a part of this great event and present the Character Does Matter Scholarship Award once again. I have to say, it was indeed a privilege to toe the starting line at the Marine Corps Marathon, but boy, was I glad to see that finish line. <laughs> All I remember when I got to the finish line was saying, Lord, thank you. <laughs> and I'm retiring from marathons. <laughs> It certainly takes a great deal of hard work and dedication to prepare for a marathon. It's not just going out and running 26.2 miles. Don't forget to point two miles. <laughs> you need to properly build your endurance, give greater attention to your diet, rest, and most importantly, listen to what your body tells you. The young man that will be, will be awarded the Character Does Matter Scholarship Award has a similar drive but it is in preparation for something bigger. He pushes himself to excel in school and in athletics, all while supporting his family and keeping focus on building his own character. Oh, and by the way, did I mention he's a high school student? What's remarkable about him is how much he's overcome in the face of adversity. When I learned of Diego's story, I realize our backgrounds are not dissimilar. Through pursuing a good education and with guidance, he's able to realize his potential, as am I. I'm grateful that I've been given the platform through the Travis Manion Foundation to inspire the next generation, to live this type of character, and hopefully I'm able to spark in them the notion that what you do when no one is looking is the true testament of who you are as a person. The renowned Dr. Martin Luther King said intelligence is equal to knowledge plus character, implying that it's not only the knowledge that you have, but what you do with it. When I reflect on my own improbable story, I'm humbled to be a part of the legacy of the Travis Manion Foundation, and thus inspired to be a part of the epiphany of the individuals in our program who come to the belief that character does matter. We acknowledge through the Character Does Matter program that today our society has an overwhelming need to develop strong character in our young adults who will become tomorrow's leaders. I'm sincerely obliged to have been given the opportunity to make a small contribution to the movement. As a veteran, having the opportunity to continue my service after I've taken off my uniform has truly made a difference in my post-Marine Corps life. The Travis Manion Foundation's Character Does Matter program presented by Johnson & Johnson is making this kind of impact for our veterans and the next generation across the country. To get a better perspective of this impact being made, I'd now like to share with you the journey of Diego Pinzon Fenteche, who, who is a student at the West Potomac High School in Alexandria, Virginia. In 2014, I moved to the USA. I didn't know anyone, or only my mom and my stepdad. I didn't know any, any English. Since I came here in 2014, I started coming to West Virginia High School. I had to do the junior year for like three years. Basically, it was like I was starting all over in ninth grade. I was like, I want to learn a language. I want to understand what they're talking about. So I decided to like study hard, read books, practice my English. I was like working hard to, to make that goal happen. My normal week is like I, I go to high school. We finish school at 2.55. I get ready and then I start working to, to work until 9 to 10 p.m. My dad is the only one who was paying for everything, so I saw like he was like putting a lot of effort. I wanted to help him, you know? 
to make him feel like we are supporting each other. Eh, para mí significa que es, es un muchacho eh, responsable porque son cosas normales en la vida, cotidianas de la vida de una persona. Entonces, si uno es responsable, puede llegar a hacer buenas cosas grandes. About three weeks ago, I was walking into the Safeway, and I look over and I see this young man, and he's talking to this woman, and he's, she's elderly, and he must have gone to three different bins and looked for things for her and brought them back to her cart, and I realized within about three seconds it was Diego. I first met Diego uh, through the Character Does Matter program. We were giving a presentation here. We quickly realized that uh, about half of the students in the class that we were doing the presentation for couldn't speak English. And Diego volunteered without even any hesitation to stand up and be our translator. He has a beautiful family that also has a career of miles. I think that it speaks volumes the fact that uh, Diego was able to come here and within two years be able to stand in front of his peers and translate. And it was so obvious that he had really taken on that spirit of, if not me, then who? The story that the Troy Minion Foundation was telling was like really inspirational. I was, I feel like inspired to do that translation, you know what I mean? This is like a good example for all of us who is here in this room and start thinking about what are you doing in your life. What are you going to do? What are you planning to do? Working with Diego has really helped me and given me a purpose. He's into all of our service projects. He's always helping out. He's so generous of his time. It's about integrity, courage, and leadership, because you are the one who is taking the first step, so all the people is going to follow you. The veterans are a good sample for me to keep fighting and like help all the people around, help the community. I take that like, Si no lo hago yo, entonces quién? That means if not me, then who? This year's scholarship is sponsored by our partners at PNC, and with them, we are proud to present the 2017 Character Does Matter Scholarship Award to Diego Penzan Fintecha. Please help me welcome him to the stage. You're making me really nervous right now. <laughs> okay, so thank you okay, for everything. Good evening, everyone. My name is Diego Pinzon Fontecha, and it is a privilege and honor to me to be sharing with you all tonight what it means to me to receive this award. I feel really grateful and excited for receiving this award. I would like to thank uh, my mentor, veteran, uh, Mr. Gino Farrell, for nominating me for this award. Um, and also my teacher and coach, Mr. Jay Ruelas, for all the support and the strong leadership and characters he has shown me. I identify with Troy Smoro, if not me, then who? Right there. <laughs> Which in Spanish translates as, si no lo hago yo, entonces quien? You want to give it a try? <laughs> I say, si no lo hago yo, <laughs> entonces quien? <laughs> si no lo hago yo, <laughs> there you go. Okay, so, so I identify with the model of Travis Minions as a way to be different from the crowd and to inspire others to, lead, to live lives they create to help in those in the end. Travis model has inspired me to have the courage, liberty, integrity, and service to serve those in the community that have not had given the same opportunities that have been given to me. I will use the lesson I have learned from the example of Travis and other veterans to make, my, to make a difference for my family and community. I would like to especially thank my mom, Yolanda Fontecha, who is over there. <laughs> who has sacrificed so much for my sister and I. 
Thanks to everyone for being part of this life-changing event for me and my family. And thank you, Travis Minion Foundation, for inspiring others like me to make a difference in our communities. God bless America.